Hey, good morning, everybody. Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here. We've got to talk about Helene. We're seeing the impact starting today. They're just going to ramp up into tonight and peak overnight into your early Friday. So let's get right to it. Um, the system's pretty straightforward. You can see what's happening. The low or the center of what is Hurricane Helene is down to the south. The stalled front, as we mentioned, was going to be a big player. So look at all the rain well ahead of the storm because we've got this pool of moisture around the storm, also high pressure to the north low pressure here which is doing this and then you've got a stalled front so a lot of the rain it would be happening even without helene helene is just pouring gasoline on this rainfall fire if you will and this is really what's going to cause the prolonged flood event and really it we call an exaggeration or exacerbate the rain that we're going to see the flood threat is going to be more pronounced because of all the rain falling before the storm even gets here now, that's the main risk in the mountains and foothills, catastrophic flooding likely to happen. But we also have a huge wind risk, huge power and tree line issue, and yes, tornado risk. Tornado risk and wind risk has been something that has been trending up in the past 24 hours. There has not been a change in the track at all. This has been one of the most consistent tracks I've ever seen. The rain forecast has been pretty consistent. The one thing we've seen change a little bit is the intensity of the storm and how quickly it moves inland, which means wind and power line issues are becoming more pronounced. And for that reason, you saw already, we've got a tropical storm warning for all of our area. And again, people are like, why is my county? You're gonna add my county. I get the questions. Folks, these things don't stop at the county lines. If you live anywhere near this watch, just treat it like you're in a watch, okay? It's not like the, the county line is a magical barrier that stops the weather. So go ahead, if you're touching the watch or within a county or two of the watch, act like you're in the watch, okay? That's all I can tell you. The watch isn't some magical thing that makes the impacts change or doesn't. It's just more of an alert, a heads up to let you know what's happening. The timing, and again, this is for Charlotte, Western Carolina centric. Yes, we know we're already seeing huge impacts now, but believe it or not, things really ramp up tonight. 6 p.m. and beyond, it gets a lot worse. The worst weather is probably 1 a.m. to 1 p.m. tomorrow. 1 a.m. tonight, basically 1 a.m. Friday to 1 p.m. So 12 hour window there, probably going to see the worst power outages, wind, flood threat, um, as well as tornado risk. And again, um, you're going to see the winds ramp up pretty dramatically. The rain is a steady increase. The winds are going to go from zero to 60 really, really quickly. Now, tornado risk. This has been increasing as well. It's not super high. I mean, not like a severe thunderstorm kind of setup, but tropical systems. We just got a tornado warning just issued right now for parts of Catawba County. Could see that happening again today tornado risk is going to increase today and tomorrow as we go through time so just a heads up we're going to see that risk continue over the next 24 hours so this tornado risk can't be taken lightly because these will be fast moving quick spin-ups that could happen today and again tomorrow this is the outlook tomorrow two to five percent chance within 25 miles obviously you'll see the risk develop again today same kind of story so let's go hour by hour this will kind of show you the timeline of all this um, you can see the, the rain's going to be with us all day today, all night, waves of heavy rain, anytime. And boy, the mountains absolutely obliterate. I mean, this is going to be horrible flooding. Folks in the mountains, please, please, please make sure you're in a safe spot. Don't be driving around. There's going to be rock slides, mud slides, all that stuff. But you can see there might be a brief lull late tonight. And this is actually going to be very brief because then the hurricane moves in. So here's the leading edge of it coming in at 7 a.m. Look at the, the winds, okay? 40 50 maybe 60 miles per hour and the rainfall rates two three four inches an hour so while the rain might not last long this is where you're going to see a combination of flash flooding power lines trees and yeah embedded tornadoes in here as well so look at these winds at 7 a.m right at 8 a.m 64 mile per hour wind gusts here in charlotte uh, that looks to be the high end i definitely would prepare for about 60 but probably 40 to 50 is more reasonable for most areas and again with the heavy rain more than enough to cause issues then you could see it as we go towards mid morning, the rain will slowly try to shift out by the middle of the day. It'll be breezy and windy. So any lingering trees and power lines could be getting whipped around. And then the worst weather starts to move out. Now with the sun coming out here, gotta watch areas like below my head here that we could see some isolated tornadoes continue. But I think that tornado risk is really gonna peak tonight and into early tomorrow. And then we go into the afternoon and evening, things should improve rather dramatically as most of the system begins to move out of the area. So again, already have a tornado warning currently in effect for Catawba County, parts of Alexander County. Don't be surprised if we see more of this over the next 24 hours. 
this system means business. Please, if you if there's one thing I can tell you, I, I said earlier, I don't like making decisions. I would say tonight and early tomorrow, probably not a good idea to be traveling. Just stay where you're at. This will be a quick hitter as far as the worst weather, um, even though it's not great weather today. We have isolated tornadoes. If you can get through tomorrow, the first half of tomorrow, things will get much better for Friday night and the weekend. So stay weather aware out there. I will post updates. Obviously going to have a lot of tornadoes. Make sure you download the WCNC app. You need to get that to stream us when the power goes out and get updates no matter where you are. I will post as much online, but remember, my main job is on TV as well. So if you're looking for where I'm at, if I'm not streaming online, go to our website or our app. Um, we're probably going to be there or put us on TV. We stream everything. So our website and app is a great place to go.